Hey everyone, it's Jolt here. This is episode two of my vlog and we're into day three of my crazy attempt of writing a book, which I've never done before. And I want to write this book in six weeks. And this is how I'm feeling now. The book is somewhere there. I'm here and there's this, I'm standing on this cliff. I have no idea how I'm going to get off the cliff, not to mention how I'm going to climb up that steep mountain. I really feel this is going to be a major flop. But nonetheless, I'm still committed to presenting my learnings in six weeks at the PKM Summit in Utrecht, the Netherlands. So if it's a big fail, then I'm going to talk about how I failed. If it's a success, then you're going to see my book at the summit. So keep watching and I'll keep pushing for now. Now I've been busy and you could say I've been busy with the easy stuff so far trying to plan out my journey. And that's because I've never written a book. I have no idea what's involved. So I started with watching a couple of videos that explain about writing a book. And then based on those videos, I created this mind map of learnings of do's and don'ts. And so looking at the don'ts, one of the don'ts that stood out to me was not to underestimate Amazon's algorithm. And at first I was thinking that I'm going to publish this as an EPUB on my own website, but I'm actually having second thoughts and I can see the value of publishing on Amazon. So that's where I'm right now in my thinking. The other don't here is and don't give up on your book. I'm only at day three and I'm already considering that. So for now, I'm not going to give up, but this is an important don't for me from all the advice. Now, in terms of the do's, I want to highlight two advices. One is to start with an outline and that reminded me to drink my own champagne. You remember this video about before you write, frame your thoughts, and this is about concept modeling. So this is going to be my next step in the process and I'm going to share in my next video where I got to with my concept modeling. And then the other thing to do that I learned from these videos, I mean, everything was new, so I learned all of this, but the other thing I want to highlight is about pre-orders, that pre-orders are important and they affect the algorithm. So one of the things I'm going to prioritize to the top is to create my cover as well as to create the outline, the, the, the blurb I can put on Amazon so that I can open the book for pre-orders. And hopefully if I get to the end of the book, then these pre-orders are going to help boost the algorithm for me. Now, based on all of this that I've read, I created this process here of my, my engine, so to say my current mental model of the tools I need and how I'm going to write the book. So let me just very quickly walk you through all of this. First of all, I'm going to build, or actually you can see the tick mark here. So I'm done with this. I've built a reference model in Notebook LM. So I'm going to be using this to do literature, cross checks and verifications, as well as to mine my own materials for insights and for, for building the content for my book. So. Effectively, I'm using Google's Notebook LM. I fe I'm feeding in all the books and articles I have about this broader topic of visual thinking, all the materials that I've read over the years. Then I'm, I've already fed in the transcript of all my self-paced course, the Visual Thinking Workshop self-paced course, as well as selected YouTube transcripts. And I also collected all my blog posts and other articles and writings and generated a single markdown file. And I also fed it into Notebook LM. So this is effectively how it looks like. If I open this, this is now, I have two Notebook LM models. So this is my content only. And you can see here the course transcript, my blog posts and my video transcripts. And then I have the other model, which 
is my own material as well as all of the reference material so I can then use that as my literature note verification. Now apart from this I will and this is still ahead of me I'm going to create a prompt and that will help me generate a, a style prompt that every time I take a chapter and use ChatGPT to edit it for me, it will have a consistent style and that style is going to be a style that I personally enjoy. I'm now thinking of writing in sort of a pseudo language, so I'm not going to be super artistic in my writing. I'm going to leave that to ChatGPT. I'm going to give the flow of ideas using Excalibur writing machine. I'll show you that in a second. And with that, I'm then going to use this prompt to guide GPT to generate a stable style for my book, for my prose. And then some of the other things I'm going to be doing is I'm going to develop the outline. So that's where I mentioned creating the concept map. I already got started with this. So the trick I did was I used my notebook LM model and I prompted it to generate various podcasts that are different book pitches uh, for this topic. And I'm listening to those and then I'm processing those into mind maps and uh, into documents. So it helps me give sort of an external loop to look at various ways how I can pitch the idea of the mindset of 4D PKM of visual thinking. This is the topic I want to cover, but I want to cover it in an introductory fashion that people get excited about visual thinking. Now, the other point I picked up from the do's and don'ts was that book covers are important and actually the book cover must match the genre that you're writing in. So this is something I'm going to be using Midjourney to help me with book cover concepts based on a collection of book covers from the PKM visual thinking and nonfiction self-help type of books so I can compile a, a book cover that matches my taste, matches the topic, but also matches the genre. And finally, and this is, I already did this, I for now self-registered on KDP, so that's Kindle Digital Publishing. We shall see if that's where I stick, but for now that's done and I need it because if I want pre-orders, then I need to get that part of the story rolling as well. And then from here, I'm going to use the notebook LM model for lots of things. For example, to create a study guide for visual thinking. And in the meantime, based on my outline, the concept map, I'm going to be using Excalibur writing machine to generate a, a chat GPT input. And all of these I'm going to put together and first of all, generate with chat GPT a book proposal and this is where I'm going to work on probably definitely for the first one or two weeks. I want to get this right. I want to get to an exciting book proposal that clicks with people and based on that I'm going to use ChatGPT to brainstorm titles. By the way, if you have a title idea, share it in the comments below. I'm super interested in your ideas as well as based on that, I'm going to draft my different cover concepts and I'm going to write my sales copy and include the Amazon description and blurb. And with that, I'm going to do the pre-order launch. So hopefully in two weeks time, this is where I'm going to be. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to continue on this route of writing the book. I'm going to use Notebook LM as my initial prompt. So I'm going to take the book proposal, prompt it into an outline. I'm then going to use that. Of course, I'm going to give it my own touch and frame it. And then for each chapter, I'm going to prompt Notebook LM 
to propose a chapter outline based on my proposal and my concept map. Then I'm going to use ChatGPT to condense that outline into 500 characters of a prompt for Notebook LM to generate a podcast because podcasts are nice dynamic discussions that Notebook LM can generate. And I'm actually going to take these chapter podcasts and feed it into or episodes, if you will, and feed it into ChatGPT to author the actual chapter using, of course, so this line here is my style guide that I mentioned earlier. And then from here, I'm going to feed the chapter back to Notebook LM to verify my references. I'm going to create chapter illustrations. So that's going to be me drawing. And this should generate all of the chapters of the book. And then I'm going to take all of this, compile it into a book draft. I'm going to proofread it with Notebook LM to identify inconsistencies. I've done that with other documents and Notebook LM was great in pointing out inconsistencies in the text. Then I'm going to request some style feedback for the full text from ChatGPT. And in the end, I'm going to self-publish. So that's the big plan. I'm sure this is still going to change, but this is how I'm planning to use Notebook LM, ChatGPT, Midjourney, Xcoledraw, and Xcoledraw writing machine, and of course, my own notes. And then this is just a brief update of how I populated Notebook LM. So what I did, was I created these three documents here. So first of all, I took, so you know, on the Excolidra Obsidian online website, I'm going to include a link in the video description. I've posted my list of video transcripts and you can watch my other video. I'm going to link it as well, the AI mentor video. So I generated all these video transcripts. Now I went through the list and copied into a markdown document all the links that match the topic of the book that I want to write. I mean, broadly speaking, I did the same with all my blog posts. So again, I created this list of links and each of these links will take me to uh, it is a an article I wrote over the last couple of years about this topic. And finally, I have the transcript of my course here as well. And I created this quick script. This is really a simple script that takes the list of links and compiles it into a single file that I can then upload to Notebook LM, so that's already done. And yeah, this is it. This is day three of my journey. I feel I'm at the top of this cliff. I have no idea I'm going to get off the cliff, how I'm going to get to the book. I'm still committed. I think this is going to be a failure, but I'm going to work against it as if I can succeed. And let's keep fingers crossed. Maybe in six weeks time, there is going to be a book. I'm only going to publish the book if I feel that it's good. If I feel it's not good, I'm not going to publish it. So don't worry. I'm not going to give you something that's rubbish. If I publish it, the book's going to be good. And if I don't publish it, then through these videos, you'll also learn the points where I failed. I really hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you continue watching. And when the time comes, I hope that you pre-order and help my journey. Thank you.